Salut mes tips et tricksters, bienvenue à une nouvelle vidéo. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vintage tips and tricks video. I am about to go to the market, is my first trip out in Dijon. J'ai besoin de légumes et de fruits, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along. Hopefully it's good, I don't know, c'est un, un marché uh, bio, uh, local, juste pour aujourd'hui, donc. Uh, Hopefully it's good. Let's go. What have you got? If you haven't got, haven't got love. Je suis en France déjà dix jours maintenant, mais on a juste uh, resté dans la maison, arrivé dans l'appartement pour uh, trois nuits. Donc uh, c'était long pour. Uh, ménager et pour euh, nettoyer. J'ai fait une vidéo, un tour de l'appartement déjà sur euh, Patreon. Donc si tu veux regarder l'appartement, si tu veux avoir un tour, un petit tour, euh, tu peux aller là et tu peux regarder. Je suis arrivée, je peux écouter musique et je peux sentir le barbecue. So, there's like a choir singing in the background, I don't know if you guys can hear. Uh, but I it's definitely still happening. There's only like 45 minutes left, so I'm cutting it fine, but I think we're gonna be okay. On verra qu'il y a pour acheter. Okay, so not much luck because it was like a little tiny local market, lots of like families with kids and stuff. There was like craft tables and soap and like fancy escargot, organic wine, stuff like that. There wasn't, there was like one tiny fruit and veg place but it was all organic and extremely expensive and only had a couple of things. So not really what I was looking for. I would have filmed more but because there was a lot of kids and families and everyone was standing watching the choir, it felt super awkward. Like no one had their phones out filming or anything like usually you see in England so I didn't want to like film because it felt a bit creepy with all the kids there. <laughs> so I'm going to go to the supermarket instead, a bit boring. I would have liked to get some fresh produce but that's what happens when you move somewhere new. Je crois qu'il y a en uh, Dijon un grand marché, c'est cher un peu mais les produits sont frais donc je peux essayer là. Parce que le marché n'était pas trop bien, je vais aller au parc de Colombière avec vous. So, yeah, the park is beautiful. I'm going to take you just for a little walk through it. We won't go through the whole thing, but um, so you can see the park because that is very beautiful. And this was a bit anticlimactic with the market not being very good and not being able to film. So, allons-y. Guys, how cute is this house? Look at all that art deco stuff on it and the door. It's all pink. It's so cute. Guys, this street has so many cute houses. Look at these. I am in love. They're so art deco. I don't know if that was just like trendy at some point or whether they're actually from the 30s but there are quite a few deco places around here. <gasps> okay you can see the park up ahead so we're gonna be there in a sec. There's another really cute house here right next to the park. The park is just there. What a nice spot. Oh my god guys the weather is so good. I was so over the gloomy wet weather of the UK. As an Aussie I just I couldn't do it anymore. I got like seasonal depression all the time because the weather we'd have like two beautiful days of sunshine and then it would just be raining for like 10 days and then it would just go gray. It wouldn't even go back to sunshine so I'm so happy to be somewhere where like this beautiful sunny day it's like 28 degrees is how it is most of the time in summertime so <laughs> so happy so we've got a little tennis court up ahead and then you can see into the park here there's like all these beautiful pathways that go so it's like half it's very curated in the sense that it has like little paths that are all very angular and like all go towards the center where the grass is but then you have all this kind of woodland around it that's like natural and left to just do its thing which I love Val and I have said we want to get fit. We both like never really got back on the wagon after COVID. Donc, c'est le froid pour uh, être en forme. Être? No. I want to say become fit, but I'm terrible with my future tense. My conjugation in French is present and past, and at the moment, that's pretty much it. So, I'll get there. <laughs> 
mais on va courir cet après-midi, là, je crois, dans le parc. But it seems I have taken a path around the park and not through the park. I thought this was the entrance to go inside, but I think it was a shortcut to avoid going on the street, but to get around the park. So that's unfortunate, but I will pop in and show you guys. Okay, I've arrived. I'm just going to show you the entrance because c'est l'opposite direction de chez moi, mais c'est très joli. Très très joli et c'est très grand aussi. But you'll see lots of it when I take photos and I'll come here regularly for picnics and you'll see plenty of this park. you can see how big it is like we're right at the start it's massive so I showed you just like the three here's my finger I showed you the three roads like just here so you're only looking at like this much of the park it's huge and now we're going to walk down this stunning boulevard here so you can see here we have like a bike path it's massive but then over here we have a gravel track that you can run along so you don't hurt your knees and your ankles love that so now I'm just gonna walk home. When I get home, I'll show you guys what I bought because even at the supermarket, the produce in France is so beautiful and fresh. I'm sorry, the lighting is really bad because it's shaded here and we're outside, but yes, les produits en France sont très frais. C'est beaucoup mieux qu'en Australie. I think because in Australia, stuff has to travel so far to get to the supermarket that we put lots of chemicals on it to make it like last longer, but then it never really ripens, so. The food is definitely better in France. It has been a very long time since I've vlogged in public, so I feel super awkward right now. Just suis embarrassé. I think I can say that. I think that's the correct French. Correct me if I'm wrong. Feel free to correct my French in the in the comment section. I definitely want to learn. So if I'm saying things incorrectly, let me know. See how pretty is this? Val's mom was saying that this is the most beautiful boulevard or street in Dijon, and I can see why. I need to buy a bike. Val has one, which of course I can use, but we can't ride together. So I really want to get one. So I think I look on Le Bon Coin, which is a bit like Gumtree. See if I can find something for not too much money. Okay, so I am back. It's not like I bought anything super exciting, but I'll share with you anyway, just some basics. So I got some tomatoes, which unfortunately I somehow managed to squish a bunch of them, I think because I put the camera on top of them. Uh, baguette tr tradition or baguette traditional, traditional baguette rather, <laughs> it's just a different type. Like you can get a baguette or you can get a traditional baguette and apparently the flour is different. I don't know, I prefer this. Uh, bananas, eggplant, I got some sweet potato and some onions and a lemon. Pretty simple. Yeah, so that was today's adventure guys. Je crois que je vais finir là. Val is going to finish work shortly, so we're going to go for a run, I think, and I want to spend some time with him because he has the next few days off, so we're finally going to have time to just relax and maybe look around Dijon because we haven't really had a rest for a really long time. We've both been working really hard to be able to move to France and then the actual process of moving here um, and moving into the apartment was long and hard and we're looking forward to a rest, so... The videos are going to resume as normal now. I'm here, I'm settled in, I have my office, so I have no excuse but to make a video for you every week. So they will be up every Thursday per usual, and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe if you want to, come and check out my Patreon if you're interested in extra content, and you can of course follow me on Instagram. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!